There has been a dramatic rise in assaults by Israeli settlers on Palestinians living in the West Bank following the Hamas militant invasion and killing of more than 1,000 people this October. Thousands of Palestinians are living in the area since 1967, and they never felt more escalation than this in the region. طبعا تغيرت نهائيا حتى ان في مثلا عندنا مثلا في اماكن بطلنا ما بنقدر نروح عليها صار المستوطنين والجيش يجوا علينا ويطخوا علينا وحتى انا في لي زت According to Israeli human rights group Beit Selim a farmer 9 miles north of Taber was killed by settlers whilst tending his olive trees The sprawling vistas of gnarled olive trees planted in the ochre earth of the West Bank have been the site of clashes between farmers and encroaching settlers for decades, with the disputes hinging on access to land. The trees are falling down. I can't get rid of it. Finally, because we are putting it on the ground and the people are putting it on the way. So I decided to take it. The hardy olive which thrives in tough conditions and can live for hundreds of years. It is a symbol of Palestinians' rootedness in the territory, where an estimated 10 million trees grow. تراثنا وتراث أجدادنا وإحنا بنعيش يعني بدون بدون الزيتون ما بنعيشش لأن بنأكل منه الزيتون والزيت لأن هو تأساس الغذاء والطعام عنا في في البلاد. But there is resistance from within. Stooping under the weight of his body armor, but uncowed by the threat of violence, Rabbi Ike Askerman guards an olive grove in the occupied West Bank, protecting Palestinian farmers from Israeli settler violence. He has a handful of comrades posted as lookouts, prepared to face off with settlers who may descend at any moment to harass and fight the farmers. Askerman calls the current violence on Palestinians as unjustified and inexcusable. There is no excuse, there is no explanation, no justification for what Hamas did. But the average Israeli cannot today, is not prepared or willing to distinguish between Palestinian terrorists and terrorized Palestinians. Um, and everybody is Hamas. It's, it's an all-out war between two peoples, and that's the way so many Israelis see it. Rights groups have alleged Israelis of attacking nearby Palestinian communities while wearing military uniforms and using government-issued weapons. The Israeli military said it appeared an off-duty army soldier participated in the event, adding it had launched an inquiry. In the field, we continue to see um, rampant settler violence that is not checked. The security forces are not willing to lift a finger, practically, to protect Palestinians. The United Nations says in almost half of settler incidents since October 7, Israeli forces accompanied or actively supported the attackers. Askerman too claims the same. The, unfortunately, our security forces are giving almost total direct or indirect back, backing to uh, the settlers as they've been cleansing this entire area of Palestinian presence. In response to the Hamas attacks, Israel has launched a land, sea, and air assault on the Gaza Strip, killing upwards of 11,000 people in the narrow Palestinian territory, according to its Hamas-run health ministry. In the West Bank, more than 180 Palestinians have been killed in settler attacks or increasing army raids according to the Ramallah-based Palestinian Health Ministry. The figure includes some militants. Will peace and comfort represented by the olives in Judaism come to dwell ever among the Israelis and Palestinians? <laughs>